One of the things that I like about my role in the company and what's given me passion is that I started at the bottom. I started pushing a machine and kind of learning the business from the ground up, getting to know customers, getting to train dogs, and learning the business from kind of that direction. One of the main features of our product uh, that we are really proud of is our Gentle Steps feature. Uh, it's, a, it's a new training method. It allows us to gently walk the dog through a progression uh, instead of starting with a higher correction level. Old school correction is what I refer to as fry and fly. Uh, I probably grew up on that in the early, early days where it really was more take the dog out, walk him around the yard a little bit, and then you give him a relatively large correction and in a sense scared him away from the fence instead of training him to the fence. Oftentimes you'd get a dog that was afraid to go out of the house, what we refer to in the industry as a porch sitter, where they open the door and they sit and they don't want to go anywhere. Uh, the gentle steps process has virtually eliminated any of that issue. Yeah, unfortunately there's still a, a contingent of products and dealer networks out there that still use more of an old school method. They really don't have products capable of making those gentle changes. So in a, in an effort to do that, they started higher correction levels to avoid the need to ever go back to the house. We're able to give the customer the access or the dealer by phone, potentially through the app that we now offer to make those adjustments on their own and gently step their way up uh, to, to avoid that and get out of that old school method. The advantage to that general approach is really how easy the transition is for the family, for the pet, how simple the training process is. There used to be a lot more, you know, flag waving and, and a lot more commands that needed to come out. In a sense, you can even almost let the dog begin to train themselves. They can wander near that boundary, they get that gentle correction, they hear the beep, you give them a little bit of a tug with the leash, they come right back to the middle and you can begin to watch them train themselves almost on their own.